Brian, is it a little bit of a rough sell when you look at the share price? Because they have a new creative director. He's, you know, he was a rock star at Givenchy. He's just started out at Burberry, but we have to wait till September to see the first collection. Yeah, I think it, it is very much a time of transition. We have a, you know, recently appointed CEO, as you mentioned, the, the recently appointed um, creative who's yet to unveil his first collection, which you know is going to land in September. So I think it's you know a slightly harsh reaction, given that what they're saying is. You know, profits are going to be in line with, with, with expectations, if not better, due to the um, slowing of currency headwinds. I mean, you know, like for like sales up 3% across the board. I think it's actually quite a decent set of results for a business that is, is in this um, period of, of change. I mean, what would you do with Burberry? Do they need to move more up market? Do they need to just get the Asian strategy right? Yeah, I think that there's a number of things which they can control, one of which is, is their designs. And I think what we will be seeing is, yeah, definitely a shift up market. So they have been uh, moving more into um, expensive leather goods, for example, with some very sort of high-ticket um, luggage items. Um, and they are, I think, going to be heading in slightly more of an edgy direction with more collaboration. So the Vivian Westwood collaboration was recently um, announced. And I think, you know, that he, um, uh, Ricardo Tisky has you know, something of a, a track record of being quite edgy, quite um, unpredictable, and I think we're going to see that both in terms of the designs, perhaps also in well of the, as well as the timings, with perhaps less of a reliance on this you know, traditional you know, um, twice-a-year launch of new ranges and perhaps more frequent launches, more unexpected launches, and bringing just a degree of unpredictability to what has become a, you know, not necessarily a predictable brand, but certainly a quintessential um, British brand, which is, is popular around the world. And just touching on that, that Asia issue, I think um, perhaps the biggest concern really has been the slowdown in spending in European markets, um, as Asian consumers are, are typically are generally now um, staying in, in Asia or in, um, in markets like Hong Kong. So lots of things you know, that um, the company can control and is changing, and lots of things, sadly, which are outside of its control, and you know, they just have to roll with it.